Hi friends, Right Careers welcomes you to a brand new video for this week. This is S. Sudarshan, your career coach. This week we have taken a very interesting topic, I should say. We have taken a topic about the backbone of India, Indian economy. Yes, agriculture engineering as a career option is the topic that we have taken. Now, before we get into the intricacies of what agriculture engineering is all about, I would like to start this entire uh, you know, video with a, a very famous Tamil poem from Tirukkural written by uh, the great Thiruvalluvar. Uh, he says, Uludundu valvare valvar matrellam thuludundu pin silver. That means anyone, uh, be it uh, you know, irrespective of where they come from, those people who are involved in the profession of farming and agriculture are the only people who lead an independent life. All others are dependent on farmers and agriculturists for their livelihood. So that shows how agriculture is, was, is and will always be important to a country like India. A small stat, uh, some people should be knowing this stat, but definitely 70% of India's population directly or indirectly depends on agriculture for their livelihood, which means India is still will always be predominantly an agriculture country. All the other aspects will come later. So, 70% of the population depends on agriculture for their livelihood, right? And there is also a myth. Agriculture means uh, seeds. Agriculture is all about crops. Agriculture is all about farming. Agriculture is all about harvesting. Yes, agriculture is about these things, but it is not about only these things. So, that's the myth we will demystify over the next few minutes or so. Now, before we get into what agriculture engineering is all about, we need to know what are the umbrella in which agriculture is, is, is classified. So, agriculture under agriculture, you can choose many, many careers in which agriculture engineering is one. You have a few other we will see. The first obviously is agriculture engineering which we saw and then you have agriculture biotechnology. Then you have food sciences and technology. Then you have agronomy which is a combination of agriculture and economics. Then you have plant breeding and genetics. Then you have horticulture. Then you have soil sciences and then you have dairy technologies. So these are some of the careers under agriculture as a, as a, as a career. We will only see about agriculture engineering this week. We will not see about all the others that I have mentioned. We will only see about agriculture engineering. Now, what is agriculture engineering or agriculture engineers? Uh, they work on technology. They work with technology, integrate technology with farming, with agriculture. So that's exactly what they do. They bring in new age practices blended with technology to improve the overall agriculture practices that's currently being practiced. So they design, develop uh, new procedures, system which is essential for agricultural operations. That's the first thing that they do. They usually use this CAD, computer aided design, right? Computer aided design to come up with a lot of agricultural, you know, to, to in developing agricultural and horticultural components or machineries. That's the something which they do. They usually integrate, you know, technology with farming. They design food processing plants. They also make sure they visit the site, they visit actually visit the agricultural site, work with agri farmers, agriculturists and owners and then make sure the productivity increases or comes to an optimal level. So th these are some of the KRAs or key result areas that an agriculture engineer usually does. Now what are the professional opportunities that are available if you are an agricultural engineering? What are the career opportunities if you pursue agricultural engineering? Uh, you can work with government, definitely uh, you can work with government organizations like NABAD, uh, FCI, Food Corporation of India and various other sources in central state government. It definitely sets a good prelude for you to become a civil service professional, UPSC. So that's the first professional. In private companies, uh, private uh, industries, there are four industries that are directly that, uh, you know, work with agriculture as an industry. First is dairy and then second is FMCG and then you have fertilizer industry. You have tractor industry, the automobile industry, and then you have seed. So this is with regards to private and you can always be an independent consultant also working directly with big landlords and farmers, thereby increasing, introducing them to modern machineries and things like that. So three professional career opportunities, government, private and individual. 
Now, how do you become an agriculture engineer? So, what is the formal education qualification that is required to become an agriculture engineer? Obviously, this is a four year program. There is, this is B.Tech in agriculture. You might have a doubt whether it is B.Sc. agriculture, B.Tech agriculture. We will see the difference at some point in time. But for now, we are only talking about B.Tech in agriculture engineering, which is a four year program. It is a proper engineering program. And uh, some of the universities, some of the colleges, you know, leading colleges that offer uh, this program includes IIT. There is one IIT that offers this program, which is IIT Kharagpur. It offers B.Tech in Agriculture Engineering. And then you have Tamil Nadu Agriculture University, which is at Coimbatore, which is a renowned university in Tamil Nadu. And then you have Anand Agriculture University in Gujarat. And then you have Acharya N.G. Ranga uh, University in Hyderabad. You have few in Nagpur, Maharashtra. So, you have plenty of government in institutes offering this program. Some private institutes have also come up these days offering BTEC in agriculture program. What are the subjects that you will be studying in agriculture engineering? We will see few subjects uh, that you will be studying in under agriculture engineering. Obviously, in the first year, as similar to any other engineering branch, you will study the, all the common papers in the first year. From the third semester or second year onwards, the specialization paper starts. Now, some of the you know papers that include soil technology, you know environmental sciences, food engineering, agricultural machineries, uh, tractor farming, uh, you know, etc. So, these are some of the subjects that usually come under agriculture engineering. Moving on, the next point would be the uh, pros and cons of being in agriculture industry. The pro definitely what I can think of is, uh, you know, since there are very few takers, if it's computer science engineering or if it's a program like electronics or communication, there will be many takers. But agriculture engineering would have relatively less takers, which means there is tremendous amount of opportunity in government and private sector. So, if you are an agricultural engineering professional, you can definitely make a good career out of it. Uh, you always get to work, uh, you know, in field, which is always good. That's the second advantage you can think of. You get hands-on experience if you are an agriculture engineering. These are some of the pros. Cons, definitely, you know, uh, uh, what is the pro can also be a con. For example, too much of time spending, you know, in the field might but relatively tax you. So, that is the first uh, flip side I can think of. A second flip, flip side I can think of is when you vis a -vis compare with other engineering fields like computer science or, or ECE or mechanical, you will start with relatively low salaries, right. So, these are some of the flip sides that I can think of. But overall, if you ask me with regards to conclusion, agriculture engineering is a great field. Because of the country that we live in, agriculture engineering forms a very, very important part or face of you know the entire academia. Now, agriculture engineering is not for everybody. If you are really passionate about agriculture, making a career in agriculture and thereby planning to transform the country, uh, you know, because it's agriculture which is, acts as the backbone to many people. Now, without agriculture, there is no profession that can exist. If you really want to transform the country, go ahead and choose agriculture engineering. But a word of caution, this is not for everybody. So, do not go by the boom, do not go by, you know, false claims and things like that. Go by instincts and go by uh, what the subjects that are being offered, right. So, I would like to conclude, uh, you know, with regards to the agriculture engineering topic this week. And next week, we will come up with a brand new video on some other topic till next Monday, 5 p.m. Thank you so much for uh, listening. And as always, do subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is www.youtube.com slash right careers and click on the subscription button. Thank you so much. Have a great week.